Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Z Reviews Tech. I've got another phone here, the much anticipated Maze Alpha X. And as you can see, this is the box for the phone, Maze logo, big X down the middle. That is actually pretty hard to see in some areas, but I made sure you guys are able to see it on the camera very clearly. So in terms of specifications, here we have the Helio P25 processor, six gigs of RAM, and 128 gigabytes of storage. That is quite a lot of storage, just like the Verni X. We have an 18 by 9 display, 3900 milliamp hour battery, Touch ID, Android N Type C, 16 megapixel camera. And yeah, so this is the Maze Alpha X. And let's see how good it is. And let's start unboxing. Take off the stickers on this box. And I have to say that the box for the Maze Alpha is higher quality than many of the other boxes you usually see. It's actually on par with probably the Yumi Digi boxes. Even actually, you know what? No, some of the Yumi Digi boxes actually look better than this one over here. Okay, open it up. There we go. This is the phone, Maze Alpha. I'm gonna put that aside for here and see what else we have inside. As we open up the box, we can see that there is a USB-C cable, charger with a Maze logo on it, and let's see what else we have in this accessory box over here. So here we have a warranty certificate, quick guide, which no one uses nowadays. And we also have a tempered glass screen protector as well, which is very nice. There's no case in this uh, box here, but the tempered glass screen protector is a very nice addition. So let's put all this stuff away and get to the Maze Alpha X itself. Okay, so first impressions for the Maze Alpha X. This phone is slippery. You've got glass on the front, you've got glass on the back, and as you can see, I literally took this out like five seconds ago, and look at the fingerprints on the back already. This is gonna be one of those phones that you need a case on the back if you wanna keep it even remotely clean. And in addition, it feels pretty heavy as well. It feels very dense, even compared to the big battery phones like the Verni X and the Yulo Phone Power 3. That being said, the Maze Alpha X does feel very high quality. You know, glass on the front, glass on the back. And then you have a metal band running around the entire phone. You got the power buttons over here. You have the SIM tray. And you also have the USB-C and the speakers. And over top, oh, there's a, there's a headphone jack. That is something that has been disappearing off many, many phones nowadays. Someone was even talking about putting the headphone jack on the endangered species list, which would probably not be a bad idea. So, and on the front, here we have the um, fingerprint sensor as well as the selfie camera at the bottom of the phone. Not a problem for me, but I know some people who will complain that it's gonna, you know, take a picture up your nose, but I'm not, it doesn't really affect me that much. So, you know what, let's turn on the phone and see how big the bezels are on the Maze Alpha X. Okay, so I've turned the phone on and set up my Google account on this phone as well. And so let's look, take a look at the bezels around here. I'm gonna open the Google Play Store because it's white and you can see. So as you can see, the side bezels are an average size in terms of like the bezel-less phones. They're not too big, they're not too small. The top bezel is not bad, but for a tri bezel phone compared to like a Mi Mix 2, or even the older Maze Alpha, it is a little bit on the big side, this top bezel over here. But if you compare it to, let's say, a um, Yulephone Power 3 or a Verni Mix 2, or sorry, not a Verni Mix 2, the uh, Verni X, which are both kind of like the Samsung style where the screen is centered instead of offset um, to have three bezel uh, bezels. Yeah, it's, it's definitely quite small. And the bottom bezel is not big either. I was expecting a super huge bottom bezel from the videos I've seen in the pictures, but it's actually not too bad. And here you have the fingerprint sensor, uh, which does work. And I was hoping for capacitive buttons over here, but there are none. You, like there is no response when you touch them over here, which is, which is a little bit sad. And a quick look at the software over here. This is a very stock Android feeling phone, which is nice. And the speed at which I can navigate through the UI is very fast. It's definitely faster than the Ulephone Power 3 and the Verni X. So that's, that's definitely a plus for this phone. All right, so when I turned the phone on, I was actually quite impressed with how the screen looks. It's a very, very nice screen. It's 2160 by 1080p, so it is 
um, the same pixel density as a 1080p display but nevertheless it still looks great as you can see pictures here are very vivid the colors are very saturated in my opinion they might actually be better than the uofo power 3 which i did praise with having very very good colors definitely better than even the redmi 5 plus which to be honest didn't have that great a screen but as you can see here the colors are very vivid very deep very saturated first impressions of the screen here are very very promising and i do hope that there aren't many flaws that that reveal themselves as i continue using this phone because this is a very very nice display at first glance so this is a little sound bite from star wars battlefront 2 which is the latest game from ea and i'm not even going to comment on that let's just listen to this clip they've led us into a trap brace for impact Most of the generators. We need them to keep the laser operational. Tell them I can ensure their survival. That's a problem. Alright, so let's talk about first impressions for the Alpha X over here. To be honest, the biggest thing I don't like about the Alpha X in terms of first impressions would be the glass back. It's really slippery and it doesn't feel as good as a matte metal back over here. So I, I really wish Maze had put in a metal back instead of a glass back. Nevertheless, it's still very high quality. And the other thing that really impressed me was the screen. It looks very nice as well. So then again, this is an unboxing video, so I can't really give you all the details um, this quickly after touching the phone. So be sure to keep an eye out for the full review of the Maze Alpha X that will be coming out very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Likes and subs can be appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next one.